Alrighty, uh, this tutorial is going to be quick, but it's about something that's very useful. It's called object replacement. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to create a null object, and I'm going to edit this null object so that it's so you can see it better. I'll give it an item shape. I'll make it look like a big box, and then I'll, I'll go ahead and animate it a little bit. Animate moving around, and then we'll go to frame 60, move it down there, and then we'll rotate it back and forth. Okay, so, you know, nothing big. <clears throat> but um, let's say after we've done this animation with this null object, we decide that we want it to be uh, a different object. We can just go here to the items tab and select the object, and go to replace, and replace with object. Actually, you could replace an object with a null or anything else. But let's say we want um, to replace it with this B object. So now, as you can see, the animation is still on the object, and everything that was transformed. Of course, this B is, is a much, um, let me scale him down so we can see this better. The B was or originally much larger, so you'll have to take that kind of thing into account. But I was able to animate one object and uh, replace it with another. So if I want this to all of a sudden, if someone comes in and says, no, we don't want a B, we want a, a cat instead. Well, there you go. Now you've got a cat instead of a bee. And uh, I'm going to show you how easy it is to modify things in Lightwave. I'll hit Control c to copy, to clone, I mean. And then I'll go to Modify, and I'll go to Move Motion Path. Now I have two kitties. And then on the second cat, I'll just go Items, and Replace with Object. And I have a cheated. Oops, the cheat is too small to see. You'll have to remember these things when you <clears throat> deal with uh, replacing objects. You'll have to keep the scale in mind. So now I have two animated objects of different types moving, and I did that in about what you know 30 seconds or something. All right, so um, let's take a look at another useful uh, way of, of using this. And here's um, Darth Vader, and as you can see, it's the full object. He's got his cape on and everything like that. And uh, let's go ahead and, and I'll I'll keyframe everything on him here. All right, and then I'll go to frame 30, and then I'll I'll do some more keyframes on here. I'll animate him. So this is a fully articulated, rigged, um, boned object that is being deformed with weight maps and all sorts of things like that. And now, <clears throat> he's, he's doing this animation here. So if I want a different version of this object, for example, if my scene is, is getting too heavy <clears throat> and I cannot um, get the kind of uh, playback that I need, I could replace the high-res version of Vader with this kind of proxy object that I built. And as you can see, it's retained all the animation. Now, the one caveat is that um, I'll select these bones. As you can see, these bones use weight maps. You see here under weight map, it, it's using the right arm weight map. So if um, if the object that you're replacing with it with does not have the right weight maps, it's gonna it's gonna be all messed up. But that's something you'll just have to, to keep in mind. But uh, this is very powerful. What you would actually use this for is the opposite way. You would usually animate your scene with the low res object and then you would replace it with <clears throat> the um, high res object later on. I would replace it with Vader Final and now I, so I would be able to animate very smoothly and efficiently with the low res object and then later on right before I'm ready to render something I could replace it with Darth Vader. And as you can see all the animation everything is is uh, is staying on there. As long as these objects are basically the same and they use the same weight maps, you should not have too many troubles uh, using object replacement. Um, so I think that's a, a pretty useful uh, item. And then if you were, for example, animating a horde of spaceships or something like that, you could use the null object thing like I showed you before, and then you could replace those with uh, the various spaceships. <clears throat> and uh, it's it's pretty neat because you don't have to um, you could you could go ahead and animate one character and and then just swap it out for another uh, right before you go to render.